Dogs, they say, are man's best friend, but unfortunately, as is the case of humans tampering with nature, we have also messed with dogs. <laughs> Crossbreeding is not a cool thing, and by mixing the characteristics of dogs, we might one day get a pet cemetery condition, and maybe even dog zombies. <laughs> On a more serious note, however, there are dog breeds around the world and in the USA that are illegal or banned. While the main focus on making dog breeds illegal is to curb the rise of an aggressive species, it's not always due to aggression. It could be excessive breeding by greedy dog breeders too. Dogs with weird sounding names like the Argentine doggos sound pretty scary, but even the pit bull often regarded as a family dog is banned. In case you think of getting a dog, you better first check out this video of the 10 most illegal dog breeds in the world. Number 10. American Bulldog The American Bulldog can weigh from 70 to 120 pounds, though many have been known to grow even larger. They aren't as aggressive as claimed, so why would this nice guy be banned? Technically speaking, the American Bulldog isn't part of the Pit Bull group, but a lot of people are confused if the American Bulldog and the Pit Bull are the same. The American Bulldog is a distinct breed, just like the American Staffordshire Terriers, American Pit Bull Terriers, and Staffordshire Bull Terriers, who all belong to the same Pit Bull category. They even share the same lineage. But American Bulldogs come from Mastiff lineage too and resulted from crossbreeding of Bull Mastiffs and other varieties of a Mastiff. American Bulldogs originated in the Deep South where they were used to catch huge feral hogs. The practice may have cultivated the aggressive behavior in the breed who has a very high threshold of pain. The American Bulldog is banned in most cities because of major consensus that they are highly aggressive. Dog experts beg to differ though and explain how some irresponsible responsible owners are a reason, often neglecting their dogs or teaching them aggressive behaviors. The American Bulldog is also banned in Denmark, Singapore, and various other cities in the USA. Number 9. Rhodesian Ridgeback the Rhodesian Ridgeback originated in South Africa and has been traced to the ridged hunting dogs of the Khoikhoi tribes of the region. The breed attracted colonists of the Cape Colony of Southern Africa who began crossbreeding them with European breeds. They then transported them to Europe where they also made their way to other parts of the world. However, many believe that the breed is a dangerous one which is why they banned it in Michigan and Wisconsin. Some expert dog forms feel that the Rhodesian Ridgeback have an independent mind of their own. The breed has also been categorized as a trainable dog in the right hands and depending on its care and upbringing can be obedient or dominant. This has caused a controversy of consensus which may have resulted in playing it safe and banning the dog altogether. I think if you have a young dog it's really important to teach them to be in a crate as well for their own safety. There have been several reports of road sea and ridgeback attacks that have forced dog legislators to go on high alert on monitoring the breed. Even in cities that have not made the breed illegal, insurance companies and homeowners associations will not allow anyone to move into a property if they own a road sand ridgeback. Number 8. Wolf Dog after seeing the dire wolves in Game of Thrones, everyone wants to own one and the wolf dog is the next best thing. The wolf dog is a hybrid crossbreed of a domestic dog and a gray wolf. It has been banned in almost 21 cities in the US and countries abroad. There are many who favor the dog as not a dangerous one like celebrity Kristen Stewart who obviously might have taken a liking to them after making Twilight. But the wolf dog is a controversial dog if there wasn't ever one and is a big challenge for its owners to maintain maintain one. If an owner is unable to cater to the requirements of maintaining a wolf dog, the animal could become unpredictable, which makes it highly dangerous for others. It is sad to know how many wolf dogs end up mistreated because of poor socialization and training. Besides being a banned breed, they are also blacklisted by several insurance companies, which makes people cautious of keeping one. Frequent reports of wolf dog attacks on adults and children have led to the wolf dog being completely banned in Norway. Number 7. The Pressa Canario. You may have not heard about the Pressa Canario, but like the wolf dog, it is also considered a very dangerous breed of dog and is banned in most cities of the USA. <laughs> 
This massive fighting dog originated in Spain's Canary Islands and weighs over 100 pounds. It is a hybrid from diverse Mastiff stock and became quite notorious in 2001 when one particular pair, Bane and Hera, attacked a 33-year-old lacrosse coach, Deanne Whipple, in San Francisco. Whipple succumbed to her wounds and authorities soon learned that the dogs had been bred for an Aryan Brotherhood fighting ring. The owner of Bane and Hera, Majori Knoller, was convicted of second-degree murder and was sentenced to 15-year jail time, a landmark judgment at the time. Even though the breed is a rare one in North America, it is still banned and blacklisted by all insurance companies in this country. If you own a Presso Canario, your home will not be sanctioned for insurance. While it is unfortunate that the breed landed on the aggressive dog list, the main reason is to reduce incidents like Deanne Whipple, which is why the Presna Canario is also considered illegal in Australia and New Zealand. Number 6. Fila Brasierlo. Have you ever heard of a dog called the Fila Brasierlo? Not me, but this is one dog that canine experts feel has been unjustly labeled the Brazilian fighting dog. The large mastiff looking dog was originally called the Brazilian mastiff and was used as a working dog, but down the line, it began being mistreated and bred for fighting rings. <laughs> An accurate stereotype is one of the main reasons why the Fila Brasierlo is banned in many cities. Pet experts feel that this is one dog breed that can be trained to be 100% devoted to their families. They can be affectionate and playful too, and even great with kids. However, the Fila Brasierlos do not take to strangers well, which is why they also make excellent guard dogs. The breed should only be adopted by experienced dog owners and never someone who is novice to dogs. They need proper training and socialization without these, it might lead to them being unpredictable and dangerous. Number 5. The Cane Corso the Cane Corso is an Italian Mastiff breed that was primarily bred for tracking law enforcement and guard duties. It also made an excellent companion dog, so why did this nice guy end up on the list of illegal dogs you may ask? Believe it or not, the Cane Corso is either banned or restricted in almost 8 cities in the USA, including Washington. Dog forums like Pampy or Peds feel that widespread bans on the Cane Corso are mainly because of its imposing large size. The breed is not meant for novice dog owners, especially ones with children. Cane Corso is an extremely territorial dog and has a hunting instinct. I know this gentleman. There have been reports of the breed killing other dogs and cats, which is why if you're going to keep a Cane Corso, you have to make sure you have a solid fence at least six feet in size. If you don't, you might just see your neighbor's dog or cats being stalked for prey. Number 4. Doggo Argentino now this is one dog with a name that sounds more like some dinosaur, although it doesn't look quite large. In the 20s, the now extinct Doggo Argentino was an exclusive breed in Argentina called the Cordoba Fighting Dog, which was mixed with uh, several other breeds like the Great Dane and Irish Wolfhound. There have been reports of breeders training the Doggo Argentino to take on large wild animals like the mountain lion. While not meant for this purpose, it has been used primarily for fighting and weighs just under 100 pounds. Doggo Argentino is recognized by its signature all-white color and looks like an overgrown pit bull. Because of misuse by breeders and fighting pens, the Doggo Argentino has been banned in almost 10 countries including Australia, New Zealand, and Portugal. In the USA, the breed is banned in 22 states. Number 3. The Rottweiler. Because of its looks, the Rottweiler is intimidating and quite scary no doubt, but like most illegal dogs, its reputation has been sullied because of irresponsible breeding. The Rottweiler was originally a domestic dog that grew to medium or large size. It was originally a German breed, known as Rottweiler Medzerhund, meaning Rottweil butcher's dogs. And no, that does not signify they were meant to butcher people, but were herding dogs that were taught to direct livestock to pull carts of butchered meat to the market till, of course, a railway was invented. Rottweilers make a good search and rescue, guard dogs, and police dogs, but like the Doberman, it earned a bad reputation and all because of commercial mass breeding. The huge demand for Rottweilers used as guard dogs led to commercial breeding taking advantage of the situation, which is why authorities have curbed the practice by making the dog just overall illegal. Moreover, lack of training skills and poor management has led this dog being considered naturally aggressive. Number 2. 
Doberman. Like the Rottweiler, the Doberman 2 is now considered a naturally aggressive and dangerous dog banned in several cities in America and the world. Known as the Doberman Pinscher, the dog was developed in 1890 by Carl Friedrich Louis Doberman, a tax collector and dog breeder from Germany. Dobermans were originally working dogs, but over the years was bred to become good police dogs, guard dogs, and personal protection dogs, which gave it the traits of being fearless, intimidating, and ferocious. However, modern breeding has toned down these characteristics to make the Doberman energetic, intelligent, good-natured, watchful, social, and more obedient. If taken care of and maintained well, Dobermans can also make excellent companions despite them being a stubborn breed. Yet sadly, the Doberman is still recognized as a naturally aggressive dog and it has become the most commonly banned dog in the United States, restricted or banned in 15 states. Number 1. American Pitbull Terrier the Pitbull Terrier is often the most misunderstood dog on earth and is much maligned too. It was originally bred as a fighting dog and when it comes to aggression and ferociousness, the Pitbull has no peer. But because of this, the breed has begun to attract the wrong kind of attention. Since the 80s, the Pitbull has also been regarded as a symbol of urban masculinity. Poor breeding, mistreatment, misuse, and poor maintenance are often the main reasons behind the number of Pitbull attacks reported worldwide, some of which have have also ended in fatalities. The weird thing is that pit bulls were never meant to be aggressive towards humans. Take a look at the world's largest pit bull, Hulk, who is a product of expert training to achieve a perfect balance between displaying the ferociousness and aggression of a protection dog and simultaneously being a loving and gentle companion to babies and his human siblings. Gentle giants or monsters, pit bulls have the reputation of being a both, and the breed is illegal to own in Miami-Dade County, Florida, Ontario, Canada, and many other countries throughout the world. So what did you guys think of the top 10 most illegal dog breeds in the world? Were you impressed by them or maybe even scared? Let me know in the comments, drop a subscribe while you're at it, but that's all for now folks. 